Walker hydraulic tank, 50 gallon tank, have a sight level gauge. Um, anywhere about here is good. I like using this as your full reference, so I could probably use a half a gallon or so. Has a temperature gauge inside here. Hydraulics likes to run about 140 to 180 degrees. Uh, it should be within that range. It can run up to about 240, but over that it cracks and it degrades the oil. So you want to keep a, an eye on your temperature. Um, this is a filter for the air intake. You take that off, you can add oil through that. There's also a filter in there to filter the air as it gets pulled in when the fluid cools and pushed back out when it expands when it's hot. This is your return filter, six micron filter. There's a restriction gauge on this side. When you're in the green, it's good. In the yellow, it's about time to think about changing it. And in the red, uh, you want to change your filter. It doesn't restrict the flow, otherwise things would blow up in your hydraulic system, but it does open up a bypass valve so your fluid is not being filtered when this gauge is in the red. At the inlet, there's a 100 micron suction screen. Um, it's not there as a serviceable item, it's just there to catch any nuts, bolts, washers, things of that nature that somebody might drop in a tank so it doesn't get pulled up into the hydraulic pump. There's a clean out port on the front, so if you do have a catastrophic failure in the hydraulic system, you can uh, reach in there and clean it all out. We use an ISO VG68 hydraulic fluid, which is a higher viscosity than a lot of people use, but it's because you're working out here in the hot weather all the time. Good idea to have that thicker fluid. We don't recommend you change your fluid on a, a schedule. <clears throat> we recommend you take a sample of your fluid and send it to a hydraulic house to be analyzed. If they tell you the fluid needs changing, then you change your fluid. Um, same with the filter. Don't change your filter until you need to change it uh, because by changing fluids and filters, you're just adding more dirt to the hydraulic system. Dirt in the hydraulic system makes higher wear and tear of the components and you'll be getting uh, poor performance from your equipment uh, if it's dirty. The globe valve on here, that should be open all the time. If you service something and you close it, make sure you open it because a pressure compensating pump, if you try to run that with a closed system, uh, a blocked inlet, you're going to destroy the compensator on it. Uh, so always make sure you get a good flow through there. Also in the bottom of the tank, there's a magnet right by the drain. <clears throat> um, that's there to catch break-in material. So as the pumps and, and valves break in, they give off a little bit of a particulate of, uh, of metal. Just like your automatic, automatic transmission, it'll collect all that, that metal in a, on a magnet. Not a service item, just clean it whenever you have to clean the uh, change of hydraulic fluid. Uh, we have two hydraulic circuits on this truck. We have one, which is a gear circuit, which is this circuit right here. Um, that's for your air compressor. The air compressor likes to see a, a constant pressure and a constant speed. So we have a pressure reducing valve here and there's actually a gauge underneath there that will tell you your pressure of that system. Um, it's set I believe for 2600 PSI uh, and the flow rate is determined by the speed of the auxiliary engine. Um, that will push fluid into a, uh, a manifold on the other end of that air compressor. We add a valve to it in a normal operating condition, uh, when it's off, it'll just push fluid to that valve and right back to the tank. When you turn the switch on, it blocks flow to the tank and pushes flow through the hydraulic motor on the air compressor and uh, causes it to spin. Um, the air, I mean the hydraulic pressure is controlled by this valve here. It can be adjusted up and down if necessary. But, uh, but unless it needs it, don't touch it. It's set to uh, accommodate the air compressor as it is. Um, next circuit would be your pressure compensated circuit. That's this pump right here. 
2.75 CAR uh, pressure compensated pump. Uh, that pushes uh, fluid out for your high pressure paint pumps, your steering sectors, and your paint agitators. Move up here to this manifold on the cart. 